Alright guys, working on the Hordalorian. Um, I found these foam templates for the helmet uh, online and I've printed them out. I've pinned them to an EVA foam mat and I've sliced them up using a very sharp X-Acto knife. Got a nice clean finish on it. I tried to glue them together with my favorite uh, super glue, the Loctite Professional Liquid, and it held until I tried to bend it. and what comes apart is not that it doesn't hold it, it's actually too hard of a hold and it actually cracked and broke at the seam instead of um, separating. So I need to find some rubber cement, slice the super glue ends off of these and reattach them. It, that's actually a good thing for me because I don't like how wide the visor is set on this. Um, I wanted a narrower visor, but um, got some progress going here, and hopefully we will give you guys an update here soon. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update. Doing this with the uh, half inch thick, I guess, uh, foam mat, and been, I've had these for months, so these are kind of just scraps that I'm using. I pinned the pattern on so that I didn't have to glue it in place and I can easily remove it. The pinholes are not an issue because eventually I want to actually smooth cast it with the um, smooth cast 300. Um, the previous helmet that I had done is here. I put a coat of gold spray paint on it simply so I could see the dimensionality of it and I didn't like what I saw. Getting this filled and sanded and smoothed would have taken five, six weeks of work and a lot more material and time and adjusting than I wanted to do. And in the end, it's too small. Um, my chin, you can actually see my full mouth out the bottom of it and my nose is pressed up against the front. I've already test fit this and this is about a half inch uh, bigger in the diameter and or actually a full inch in diameter and so I'll be good to go. Alright, catch you later. Bye.